You're watching ESPN's coverage of Championship Week as we welcome you to the Ohio Valley Conference Baseball Championship presented by Surpro on ESPN+. Plus. Winner take all matchup between Southeast Missouri and Morehead State. 3-2, base hit to right field. It will tuck away in the corner. Riley Priest wants a double. Cameron comes up firing. It's not in time. It's a leadoff double for Riley Priest. Shows butt. Excellent butt, third base side. New third baseman with a throw to first. It's in time for the out. So remember, no Caleb Corbin unavailable after he was shaken. Third, one out. This is Nick Gooden. Good in. Here's a little flare to shallow center field, and Morehead takes an early 1-0 lead. Bradley Ward told us yesterday after he picked up his first hit of the tournament, Monkey is off the back, and Nick Gooden has exploded today. Castleman has double-digit home runs this season. He hit three in one game earlier this year. New third baseman is busy. Resetage fires to second in time to get Roman Coots for the final out. Rather, that seems. 2 2 line drive. It's off the middle of the shortstop. Becker into center field. So that ball was smoked. This should be a base hit for Brooks Kettering. Three balls and a strike on Ben Palmer, the senior from Minnesota. Who destroys it deep to left field. Ben Palmer sends one out of the ballpark. 2-1 lead for Southeast Missouri. Ben Palmer all over this one. 17th home run of the year for him. Fastball, that had all of the plate, and he crushed it over that left field wall. His fifth home run in May, and his team leading 17th home run. In game. And he smacks one in the right center field gap, ranging over Priest. Tracks it down for the out. All right, Graham just watching that. Cameron jumps on the first pitch. He's got a base hit to center field. Dumps it in front of Riley Priest. So this ground ball into the shift. Good and to his roommate Becker for one. The relay though, it's not in time. It pulls Roman Kuntz off the bag. So Coloma reaches on the field. Chopper to first. Roman Kuntz is six foot three. He's not going to let that bounce over his head. Simo picks up a two run shot. Red Hawks take a two one lead after one. And again, we touched on it earlier, but where could these teams end up? This is Graybosch. This is a fair ball, and they're going to count this as an out. And Graybosch. 3-2 misses inside for ball four. So second walk by Heyman. Only other one was the intentional walk to Roman Kuntz. So the bubble team. Great games around the country today. Hammered to left field. It's a base hit for Hayden Robbins flying around the bases as it bounces off the wall. Gurman's going to get waved, and he will score. It's a tie ball game thanks to Hayden Robbins. Two, one, lifted high in the air, trying to fight off the sun. This is Cameron Kitty located. He does, makes the catch for the out, turns and fires to second. Runners at third and first base now for Morehead State after that fly out by Riley. Both squads have put up throughout the year. Ground ball to third. Resetage has it, floats to first in time for the final out. Morehead State gets a run to tie. This ball lifted to right field. Ian Riley sends it over the head of the right fielder. 
And he trots into second base after the ball bounces over the wall and you see it trickling down the steps there. But shown and hits the batter and will it be given first base? He will. Wow. This is the this is the first plate appearance of the week for Resetic. He tried to square around a so an eventful first at bat for Resetic. Here's a bunt attempt coming off the mound. Pointer looks to first. He has to wait for Gooden to get there, and he does for the out. 3-2, that hits Brooks Kettering. Directly on the forearm, and the bases are loaded. Yeah, that doesn't feel too good. 2-2, two, two, lifted to left, charging in. German makes a sliding catch, and it pops out of his mitt. He fires to third. That's the shortstop, Becker, covering the bag, and he's shaken up. One run is in for Simo. The Red Hawks retake the lead, 3-2. A lot going on on this play. It was a really good effort out there by Hayden Robbins. Or rather, I'm sorry, German out there and left, and he just is unable to make the catch. Hopefully, Colton Becker's all right. He's going to get looked at here, but a collision over there at third. One, two, base hits to right field, more runs in. One is in, the, here's the throw by Robbins. It is not in time. Two runs score off the bat of the DH, Ty Staus. 5-2 lead for Southeast Missouri. Pretty pitch there to freeze Josh Cameron. Loma, who one hops one to Nick Gooden. Coloma right into the shift, and the inning is over. Nearly as many as everybody else. As he sends it in the air to right field, Cameron is waved off by Ian Riley, the center fielder, who makes the catch. And here's Nick Gooden, tees off on the first pitch, short left field. Here's Ben Palmer, waved off by the new left fielder, Coloma. Swing and a miss. Moorhead State is retired, one, two, three, for the first time today. To this point. Popped up, foul territory, Guzman. It's a long run for him. Close to the dugout. Does he make the catch? He does. It's the catcher, Graybosch, but he collided with Guzman. I don't think Guzman saw Graybosch at all here. Oh, oh it, was, man. it was the foot, and it looked like the face, or he got hit in the face as well. Oh, Ian Riley gets nailed by a pitch. From Blackhawk Community College in Illinois. Drives it over the head of Nick Gooden in the shallow right center field. Touching second, heading for third, and getting there safely, Ian Riley going from first to third on the single by Resetage. Good base running by Riley. It looked like he paused for a moment, wasn't sure if he was going to head for third. Yeah, well, first he has to wait to see if Gooden's going to catch it. He checks the outfielders, and then he turns on the Jets, seeing where they are, and able to beat the throw. Drops a bun in front of home plate, and the catcher, Graybosch, drops it, and a run is in for Southeast Missouri. 
The great thing about a squeeze play is it puts. Lifts it right center field. Robbins and Priest almost get together. Priest makes the catch for the out. Had a career high seven game hitting streak in late March. So we're gonna miss a strikeout for Rodkiss. Hey, Roman Koontz. This is a fair ball to long throw by Resetage, and he skips it in for the out. It does seem like everybody has gotten more comfortable with the artificial surface all the way around in this ballpark as the week is going on as Graybosch has a base hit. I mean, even that hit right there. Heyman wanted it. We'll see how he bounces back. So he ain't going to miss. Got the start to kick off the tournament. Here's a ground ball up the middle. Palmer flips it to second in time for the final out. As we advance to the bottom of the fourth. Hits it in the air, left field. Here is Davis German. Brings it in for the out. Had 16 home runs and 50 RBIs last season. He jumps on the first pitch and will ground out to Nick Gooden. All game, couple of strikeouts, no walks. And he strikes out Coloma. A fast boots for the Eagles. Drives it well hit to center field. Ian Riley backs up and he makes the catch shy of the wall. One of the hardest hit balls of the week for Riley Priest. Unfortunately for him, he just hit it. Well over 100 miles per hour. Colton Becker skies it on the infield. Who's going to bring it in? Who wants it? It's the first baseman, Bryce Cannon. It was enough. It was mostly over the middle, but a little bit inside. And he strikes him out. 3-2 count, Sam Heyman. Deep. But first, he would like to take care of business tonight against Simo. But Bryce Cannon, he's got other ideas. It's a leadoff walk to begin the fifth. Outside ball four. Rodkiss with back-to-back -back walks to begin the fifth. It's in around first base. That's upstairs, snap throw to second. It is not in time, but boy, it was close. Bryce Cannon just gets back safely. Yeah, good idea. Oh. That hits the batter, Rosetta, just the second time that he's been hit. Kind of in a similar situation, too. He tried to drop a sacrifice one back in the second, and he was hit by a pitch. St. Ackerman, just the third time he's been at the plate when the bases are loaded. He's one for two, flips it in the air to right. Will it be deep enough? Robbins, he locates it. He makes the catch. Cannon will tag, and Robbins fires to second. So it's a sack fly for Nolan Ackerman. The lead now is 7-2, Southeast Missouri. Uh, Ackerman gets the job done. Gets away from the catcher momentarily. It's still in the batter's box, but it does allow the runner on first to advance to second in Resetage. Kettering rolls it to Koontz. Koontz looks at the runner at third, taps the bag at first to at least get one out. Riley remains at third base. Resetage sticks on second. Once he... Last time that happened was 2009. That's past the third baseman, Guzman. More runs are in. Riley scores. Resetich gets waved. He's in safely. 
Harper. Back in the third. Runner on the move, though by Graybosch, way off the mark. It's a stolen base for Ben Palmer. Oh, it's what an team effort. Team high ninth. Colton Becker. Driven to center field, backing up Riley Priest. He's got it for the final out. Red Hawks, three runs. They get helped out by an error. The lead is now nine to two. Oh, for 13 this week before he finally had the huge hit last night. Rolls it to short. Ben Palmer can't come up with it. Previous stop, Vision 2 program in Connecticut. They're also the Eagles, by the way. He takes ball four. Third walk by Sam Heyman. And the Castleman swats it in the air to left field. Coloma makes the catch and fires it to third base. So one away. Shoots it to right field. Backing up, it's Cameron. He's got it. He'll fire to third, and the runner tags from second to third base, and Nick Gooden. Gurman gets jammed, sends it to the second baseman. Kettering makes the play for the final out. A lot of ground to cover. No problem for Brooks Kettering. Hits it a mile in the air, right field, Robbins, camps underneath it, brings it in for the out. It's one of the highest flyouts we've seen this week. Wing and a miss. So Coloma chases one out of the zone and a quick two outs. 3-2, softly hit to Nick Gooden, charging in, floats it to first in time in Southeast Missouri. Goes down in order, one, two, three. That's the first time today that's happened. After six, 9-2 lead for the Red Hawks. Round ball up the middle, it's a base hit for Hayden Robbins, his second base hit of the day. And the second inning in a row where the Eagles have had the Upstairs for ball four, Morehead State in business to begin the seventh as the first two have reached. High for ball four, the bases are loaded for Morehead State. Rolls it to first, and it's fair, and it goes all the way in the corner. Robbins is in. Priest scores. Becker stops at third. A double for the OVC Player of the Year, Roman Coots. Now over 100 RBIs this Drives it to right field. Josh Cameron backs up. It's plenty deep enough to score Becker. He'll score standing up, Roman Kuntz from second to third. Sack fly by Nick Gooden, and Moorhead State inches closer. 2-2, Two -two. hammer to straightaway center field. Ian Riley can't get to it, it's off the wall. Roman Kuntz will score, RBI double for Guzman. Here comes Moorhead State. Pops it up, shallow right field. Center fielder Riley makes the catch. Second out of the inning. That one just continued to. Two, two, swing and a miss. Throw down to third, but it missed. And that gets past Colton Becker in the center field. Not sure if Colton Becker 
Got his glove on it, but the leadoff batter is aboard. To be fully locked in, especially so many games into this tournament. One, two, swing and a miss. A strikeout for Batillo. And throughout the course of the regular season. Low, the runner's going to head for second and get there standing up. And Ian Riley. Response the next half inning, and the Red Hawks could definitely use it. Ground ball to Guzman. He fell down. He pops back up and records the out at first base. A little bit of. Swing and a miss. Patillo fired up after he storms off the mound. And a sharp breaking ball that strikes out German. Oh, that had a lot of pitch. Giving it everything he has. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Lawrence to begin the eighth. He is completely... 0-2 from Lawrence in the air to center field. So Peyton Lawrence works a 1-2-3, top of the eighth. Red Hawks can feel it. They take a three. Here's 2-1, softly hit to Nick Gooden. Floats it to first in time for the out. Did you see the spin on that one <laughs> off the bat? That was something. Hit in the air, shallow left field. Davis German makes the grab for the second out. Well, we've been talking about Peyton Lawrence, and rightly so, but Mateo as well. Ground ball past the shift. Josh Cameron reaches with two outs. Just found the perfect spot. It's called strike three. Coloma goes down looking. Southeast. The 3 1. Popped up to right field. Cameron fights off the sun. He brings it in. Southeast Missouri is two outs away. Payoff pitch. Coons pops it up out territory. The shift is on. So this is a long run down the left field line and is caught by the left fielder, Coloma. Southeast Missouri, one out away. Back to the slider. Here it comes, the 2-2. Swing and a miss. Southeast Missouri wins it. For the first time since 2022, the Southeast Missouri Red Hawks are OVC tournament champions. Six championship in program history. And Peyton Lawrence, over 90 pitches yesterday, comes in to shut the door on Moorhead State. And the Red Hawks are heading to the NCAA tournament. What a performance by Lawrence. After pitching yesterday, he seals it for the Red Hawks. He went right back to that slider to get the strikeout. 